स्कूल फाउंडेशन डे सोलह जुलाई क्या कर रहे हो बच्चे वही घिसा पीटा ट्राई समथिंग न्यू कुछ नया करो Oh shit! What the hell, man? इसको भी आज ही बंद होना था। Yes, I got it. I got it. There will be something new. Musar community of Bihar is perhaps the most exploited and the poorest community in India. Most of them are landless agricultural labourers, many of them being bonded labourers. Their population in Bihar is estimated to be about 35 lakhs and they are spread all over rural Bihar. It's surprising but true that most of them live in ghettos in the outskirts of most of the villages of Bihar. And the only occupation they know is to work on the land. Being landless agricultural laborers, their incomes are very low and inconsistent. They are only employed during working seasons on the field with the result that they do not have economic surplus. Most of them are caught in a debt trap because they have to spend much beyond their means on occasions like marriages, births, deaths 
festivals and so on and so forth. And once they take a loan from the village money lender, they are caught in a debt trap. And this accentuates their vicious cycle of poverty in which they are trapped. Their, their socio-economic condition is really, really pitiable and I call it a national shame. And the unfortunate part is that for the last so many decades, even after independence, the state and the society has not been able to do much to change this profile of the Musar community. They, they, they continue to live in the most inhuman conditions, in abysmal poverty. So if this is the situation, if the state and the society has not been able to do much for them, the unfortunate part is that even since independence, the state and the society has not been able to do much to change this pitiable profile of the Musar community. So the problem is if the change has to be brought about, how is that to be done? Or should the state and the society continue to turn a blind eye towards this unfortunate community? That's how the thought came to my mind that maybe, maybe, if I'm, if it is possible to generate forces of change within the community, it may over the years bring about the desired change that we are looking for. Empower the community itself to change its condition. And how is one to do that? The obvious answer is, quality education. Make available to Musar children quality education so that they are able to compete with the best in the country. And if that happens, then they get empowered to become that catalyst of change in the Musar community. It is with this view that the idea came to recruit a few Musar children, bring them to Patna and admit them to a quality school.